So how do vehicle manufacturers and tire suppliers come up with a tire's PSI? We're gonna find out next. Auto manufacturers and tire suppliers come up with a tire's PSI starting with the load the vehicle is designed to carry and the size of the tires installed on it. Worldwide, several organizations exist with the purpose of establishing and publishing interchangeability standards for tires, wheels, valves, and allied parts. In the U.S., this sanctioning body is the Tire and Rim Association. These organizations establish a range of standard dimensions for each tire size so that the proportions of all tires of a particular size are very similar. This assures that all tires of a specific size are interchangeable, at least in terms of their physical dimensions. They also set each tire's load curve, which is the relationship between inflation pressure and the tire's maximum load carrying capacity. Auto manufacturers know what a vehicle weighs and how much weight can be added in fuel, passengers, cargo, and the like. They can also look at the load curve of a particular size that they have selected and usually add a safety factor of around 10% to this number. The recommended pressures go onto the vehicle's tire information placard once the engineers make their final decisions. The tire information placards identify the OE tire sizes and inflation pressures, including the spare, along with the vehicle weight capacity. In addition, vehicle manufacturers must also identify vehicle load capacity with the following sentence. The combined weight of occupants and cargo should never exceed X number of pounds. I'm Mary Delavala coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio of Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.